Hey everyone, it's Arithic Collectors here. We are opening up 2022 Topps Sonic Chrome. This is a light box where you can get uh, parallels, the Sonic parallels, but in each box you're guaranteed uh, four exclusive black and white Ray Wave parallels. You get 16 uh, packs, four cards per pack. Uh, the chance at pulling the rookie short prints, which are numbered uh, 221 to 225. So there's five of those. Um, and it's the big names like, I believe it's Torkelson, Witt, um, Julio, uh, and I think maybe Hunter Green, and I don't know who the other one is, so uh, it's escaping me right now. Anyways, uh, I could be wrong. If there's different guys on there, let me know, um, but I believe it's very similar to Topps Chrome, but this, this time they actually inserted these short print rookies. It's very tough to pull them, uh, but let's see if we can pull one or one of these... Uh, Sonic parallels. So there's various parallels in here. Um, and you can see the purple, yellow is the easiest, and the aqua pink, aqua um, ray wave, and then the green, and then there's a green ray wave, and then a blue, yellow. So it goes just down the list. Let's get into it, see what we can pull out of here. These are $80 roughly um, a box. And the base cards are just like standard chrome. Uh, so the parallels, which are going to be very hard to pull, or hard to pull, I think, as in like about one a box. Um, it's, you know, you don't get uh, too much variety. It's kind of an interesting, maybe even a weird release from top. Not really sure, yeah, what they did or why they did this. Um, other than, uh, yeah, just to make more money. I don't know. Uh, so let's see what we get out of, out of these. Um, I thought that the Sonic cards were actually all the base cards are going to look different. Um, but they look pretty much, well, I think they look exactly like the base uh, Chrome cards do out of a uh, regular Chrome. So see, you can see there, um, nothing fancy. Uh, so that's very disappointing. Uh, but I think they did combine the uh, update and the regular checklist i believe at least that's what i heard somebody say um there's i think two so there'd be 220 cards in the set um and so if they did that that's pretty cool let's see if we can find some oh there's a nice one a wander front franco um so that's that's a good card and then right behind there we have a prism kyle tucker and we have a tyler gilbert uh, rookie and then uh reyes as our first black and white ray wave all right so uh the nice wander franco uh rookie card let's see if we can get one of the autographs they have double and triple autographs in here they're once again incredibly tough to pull but it looks like ooh, we have a nice purple here be a rookie uh, no not a rookie trey mancini uh purple so this is gonna be the sonic purple i think these are one of the more easier parallels to pull let's see on our uh green yellow aqua yeah purple yellow i think yeah those are i'm guessing that's what that is um yeah it is the purple yellow so that's one of the easiest ones to pull but hey we pulled a, a parallel uh now obviously if you pull one of the big rookies in that um uh, that is uh you know, good like a Wander Franco or whatever, that would be good. So we have a refractor in here. Let's see if we can get a good refractor. And it's a rookie Aaron Ashby, not bad. And then we have a Mike Trout base. So this is, you know, pretty, I guess it's pretty fun for, you know, the if you got them for $70 to $80, you know, kind of a fun little rip. See if you can get anything um, interesting out of these. Obviously, Pulling some of those parallels and the low number of parallels, or if you pull one of the short print rookie cards, um, you're doing a, a quite well. Uh, but overall, it's uh, to me a little bit lackluster in the fact that you can't get you don't get that many parallels in a box. I don't know why they water the stuff down so much. There's Joe Musgrove. See how quickly this product either stays the same in price or tanks. I highly doubt it will go up in price. I've seen update uh, Chrome uh, boxes now as low as $75 a box, uh, which is crazy. There's a nice insert. So the inserts are actually really nice. 
uh, youth quake insert um, a gill and then there's the back of them so the inserts are very nice and Josh Lau but you know for for 80 bucks um, kind of fun uh, but at the same time uh, I just think it's very strange that they use the exact same base cards and didn't really do anything to make them look different and then you only get like one of these sonic cards a box roughly um, so it's just kind of a, a interesting thing that tops did with this one uh, I, I would really think it'd be cool if they made them all a sonic look and then had the colored parallels that would be really cool but they did not do that uh, which to me is a big disappointment matt chapman and jonathan india so the matt chapman prism but at least these didn't come out at like 150 or something in a box. Like that's what the problem was with Chrome is they didn't have the short prints and they came out and they are super expensive. Now if I pull one of the short prints, you know, I'll definitely be like, oh, this is the best product ever. But um, that's probably not going to happen. All right, so uh, McGill uh, Refractor and then a Brian Reynolds. Pretty quick little break. Not a lot of packs and not a lot of cards per pack. Still looking for some of our Ray, Ray Waves, and I think we have one here. Uh, Jake Berger, Zach Wheeler, and Luis Garcia. And we have, I think in every Ray Wave pack, you get an extra card. Uh, so you get five in there. And Marquez. Herman Marquez. All right, guys, if you haven't yet already, guys and gals, if you haven't yet already, hit that thumbs up button um, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to be doing more breaks in the near future, so stay tuned for those. Looking forward to opening more uh, Series 1 and uh, doing some uh, more of our case of Jumbo, so we'll be doing that soon, uh, as well as uh, some other stuff. we got some football um, retail products to open up, uh, and we have some hanger boxes that have come in, so... Now that'll be fun. We got, or I mean that I, I got actually from a retail store. Uh, and uh, what else? Zenith football, Dunruss football. Um, I can't remember what else we have coming in. But uh, anyways, there's some more stuff coming in and nice releases that are coming out. There's a nice Cal Raleigh prism. And behind that we have a Salvador Perez and a Ray Wave Buster Posey. So Cal Raleigh, that's a nice one. I really like him. He's a fun player to watch. Uh, the Mariners are just a fun uh, team to watch. Mariners and the Padres squared off yesterday in Arizona. There's another Cal Raleigh. And we have a Dylan Carlson and a nice Josh Lowe. Um, youth Quake. And then behind that, another Dylan Carlson. So Dylan Carlson, was this one a refractor? Yes, that one's a refractor. Um, and so there you have it. That is our box of Sonic Chrome Light. Um, yeah, honestly, I would say, would I rather open this or a hobby box of 2022 Series 1? And I'd say 2022 Series 1. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's fun, but you just get that one parallel and two inserts, and then you get the Ray Wave. So, I don't know. Just not enough. Um, there's no. There's only a couple inserts. There's just not enough variety in the product, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, thankfully, they are affordable. They're not super expensive. Uh, but, you know, is this a long-term uh, product that Tops will do year after year? I don't know. be interesting to see. Uh, top, uh, the logo fractors are way more fun than these. Um, and uh, the Cosmic Chrome, which we never opened any because we got to the party a little late. Those looked amazing. Uh, but this product, eh, just can't get behind it. Um, at $75 now, you might want to open up some of those Tops Chrome updates because you pull a monster card out of there. Um, you know, for about the same price. Um, and the buy, you can't, you know, the short prints are very hard to get out of here. So anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Um, you know, do you love, love the Sonic uh, parallels? Do you love the product? Uh, you know, are you a buyer or are you holding off or uh, what's your thoughts? All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Take care and have fun collecting.